Hello, my name is Peter West, and today we're going to prep the Rebel for its Starlink and MVX install. I'm waiting for my antennas to arrive. They should arrive on Wednesday, but we have the Mobile Health Clinic Association meeting next Friday, and so I want to prep everything up. So let's take a look at what we got going on. This is the Speak You Should Re uh, Patriot. Then we have the Speed Fusion Renegade. And then we have the Speed Fusion Rep. We're gonna install some, some special antennas that Peplink is giving us. We're gonna install some Starlinks on it, but we need it, we need power. So let me show you what we have. So inside the unit here, I've got a um, I installed a rack. So if you want to take a look and you can see I've got I've got we, we mounted a rack and I was gonna put the MBX here. Then I have 12 volt power that I brought in from the from the 12 volt, the power is the wine guard because we don't need a wine guard. And uh, so I just brought the, the 12 volt over, um, but this will only power the MBX, it won't power my Starlink. So basically what I'm gonna do is dual power the MBX with the Starlinks. So while I'm driving down the road, I have 12 volt if I'm not running my generator. But if I want to have the, the Starlinks and the air conditioning's running, maybe, maybe I got my crew in the vehicle, we can, Turn on the generator, which will then power the MBX and the Starlinks, and allow that to operate while on the road. So I want to have two different power inputs: one AC input, and one DC input. The AC will also power the Starlink. But I can't find any power AC power here. But I did find this over here. So I've got a an AC power right here, and so what I'm going to do is turn off the, the circuit make sure that light goes off. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in the, this right here. Then I'm going to drill a hole up here, go through here, go across there, and along the roof, go drill a hole through there. That's gonna bring me into this cabinet, and then I'll drill a hole here, and then bring this power. So I've got this 20 feet of cable. Hopefully it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna basically set this right here, and just make sure that it kind of quasi fits, which it does, so we're good. I knew it would, but I just want to check. I was hoping that this will fit, and it does, and then we're gonna have to fit in here, and this is what I don't know, and so I'm, I'm checking to see. I should be able to make that work. Yes, it fits, okay. So that, that was a good one. So now let's see if we can drill this way and then we're gonna have to drill that way because there's no way I'm gonna be able to squeeze it in there. Okay, so I got the right tool. I just wanted to test that, that rubber bendy thing. So I went, I have a, a little DeWalt 90 degrees. You can see now it's nice and smooth. So I can take this. Oh, no. We're gonna pull this through. We have power. <laughs> so we've got our power up and running. Now I've got to drill a hole in the roof, install a box, and get ready for the, uh, the Starlink. I, I won't be able to install my antennas until next Wednesday. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and test out this new um, drill that comes with the install kits and our website. 
So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a nice clean access to the roof. So I'm going to drill a little hole, that way I can see if there's any um, electrical wires or anything like that up in the roof. Now, I typically know that electrical wires are going to go this way, and then air conditioning vents are going to go this way, and electrical wires could go this way. So I want to be offset from my air conditioning vents here, and you can see that they go like right there, and then I have no power. So I want, I'm want i going to drill a hole in here, kind of offset from any wiring potentially this way or this way. So I like this right here. And so we're going to and then, sorry. Interesting, it's like foam up there. So I like to go one layer at a time. So I break away, so I drill the hole in the, the wood and then break it away and just check. And you can see there's foam. Foam is good actually. That means there's no space for wires. So I'm gonna then go through the, through the foam. And then breaking away foam is a nightmare, by the way. So the best way to do that, grab something uh, sharp or long, and then um, just kind of break it away. And once again, you wanna go one layer at a time, making sure that you have no um, power cables or anything like that. So, and then this looks like it goes right to the roof right there. So now I'm gonna get a little, um, I'm gonna get a slightly longer drill bit, just pop a hole in the roof, and that's gonna tell me where to drill down. So the install kit also includes a long drill bit. I love these because they allow you to kind of create a pilot hole. I used to do all this um, by like kind of eyeballing it and then using a measuring tape, but it's kind of hard with the different thicknesses of different walls and whatnot. This lets me know exactly where I'm gonna be. The smaller drill bits that comes with the drill. So we just switch to the smaller drill bit. Boom. Should be up on the roof. Let's go take a look. My pilot hole that comes right through right there. So now I can take my 44 millimeter down through, more foam. And now you can see there's my hole going down into the, uh, the cabinet. So I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna glue down our box. So I've got the box right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drill a hole um, right in the center because I'm okay with that location. So now we got a nice um, hole in the roof right here, or in the box. So now I'm just going to glue it and then we're going to put it right on the roof and then screw it down. Let me get my glue. Okay, so I like to use um, liquid nails to glue it to the roof. Um, there are lots of opinions on this. And if you don't like liquid nails, that is, uh, that is up to you, that's fine. Um, this is just my, my preference. So I'm gonna put that on. And what I do is I create a bead around the edge of the box. So when, when, I, when I put the glue on, I put it on in like chambers. I don't know why, but it makes me feel better. Like if water were to leak into this section, I've kind of got like um, these chambers kind of protecting it. And, um, and then I, um, you don't want it super close to your penetration hole because then otherwise you get glue all in there and then it makes it really messy. Um, and sticks to your cables. So you want to keep it. And then I put a little bit extra on all these right here because this is where I'm going to put my screws down. 
So I put a little bit extra right here, because that way when I screw down into it, so we take that, we can go up on the roof. There we go. And then that's gonna, that's gonna solidify and, and dry up. The screws are really designed just to keep it secure to the roof. I mean, that's it. So like, don't overthink the screws because really the magic is in the glue, not the screws. And you wanna go down just tight enough so it holds it in. Don't, don't over tight these, they'll, they'll strip out. I'm gonna let this dry and then we're ready to put our antennas and our router on.